What is up, Backyard Bass fans? All right, once again, Lucky Tackle Box. We are gonna go over this box. We are gonna see what's in it. Um, I told you guys before, I am not affiliated. I am not sponsored by Lucky Tackle Box. I have absolutely nothing to do with those guys. Um, just kind of wanted to go over their box and see what they were putting in their boxes. Beans, they got a new owner now. Um, they're supposed to be a little bit better and putting better stuff in their box. So we're gonna just gonna dive in. Like I said, the second one I've done. If you haven't seen the other one, you know, make sure you go back and watch that other one for the first one we did. Um, and I have one more coming that we will do a review on and just kind of go over what's in their box. And guys, if you're digging the content on these videos, you know, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Go over, hit the thumbs up, and if you would hit that little bell over there so you get notified when I'm putting new videos out, and we will get into this. One thing that I will tell you guys, um, you can hear. There's not much in the box. I've got everything out of it. Um, I actually shot a video before, but I look like a guy with no fingers trying to hold on to a slimy eel. Um, I had stuff going everywhere, packages. I had hooks in my fingers, so I kind of opened up most of them so we don't have to deal with that in the next video. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in a bit. card right here this explains everything you're getting gives you a price point and everything what it is what the name of it is and who the actual the actual brand is so we'll get into that here in a minute it's gonna help me remember the actual name of these baits first off I can tell you right now got some uh, mustad these are two odd hooks the EWG hooks um, these are great hooks um, they're a very, very light wire hook on these. Um, they do sell a heavy wire, but these light wire hooks, I will tell you, work absolutely wonderful for like a trick worm or the four inch Cinco's. Um, have no problems with these, they're great hooks. So that's a pretty good deal right there. Um, they said on here, looks like they went for $349 a pack. So it's not a bad deal. Second bait we're gonna get into, this is kind of a, a little bit of a wild bait here. Um, show you here. Like I said, I previously opened these because I was tired of getting hooks in my hand and everything else trying to get the packages open. So this one here is by Teaser Tackle. Um, this one is actually called the Harasser. So you guys can see there, it's a pretty unique looking little bait. It's got a very, very thick, thick tail back here. I'm sure that thing's going to have a ton of action. Um, does have a little top hook here and a trailer hook as a treble down here. Um, I probably won't fish it much around my area because I have a lot of debris laying on the bottom of my lakes and ponds and stuff around here. Um, but I guess if you could swim it a little bit faster and keep it up off the bottom, you'd probably be okay. I think with that tail on there, you're going to have plenty of action. It's going to look like a kind of like a swim bait coming through the water with a big tail action. So that actually may get bit pretty good. Um, I will probably try this in my pond, but I will take that trailer hook off there and just do a slow swim across the bottom especially this time of year with it being really cold um fish are going to be pretty close to the bottom i think this bait will get bit it's a pretty unique color too i don't think it actually says the color on there um like i said it's just called the harasser so pretty neat looking little bait though i'll say that all right guys on to the next bait um and just before i forget here um they say that one goes for 12.99 so that's supposed to be their little bit higher end stuff We'll, we'll see when we get into this a little farther. So the next bait on here is actually called the, uh, let's see here, this is the cork screw, no limit, it's by No Limit Lures. Um, just a big ribbon tail worm. It's called the cork screw. Um, and I don't see it on there. It, oh, it's a limited lure, okay. so. Say the price on these is $5.29. Looks like a pack of six in here. It's a pretty unique looking little bait here. Um, show you guys there. It's got a very, very big tail on it. It's probably gonna have a lot of a lot of action to it. It's a very slim body though. Um, I would actually put this on something like I'd throw a swim bait or something like that. Um, honestly, what I would probably do is fix this up as a pegged Texas rig. 
a little bit lighter weight and I'd probably throw this through grass. Um, that is that is definitely something I'd use in the grass lines. Um, probably coming through the grass, going across the grass lines on the outsides, stuff like that. That would probably work pretty good. Um, it's a little big for doing like a drop shot or something like that with it, but um, other than that, it, it's not a bad looking bait. Uh, probably nothing I would pick up in the store, but um, that's part of these boxes is getting you out of your comfort zone and trying new things. So I'd definitely give it a, give it a whirl. So, all right. Um, this next one, this is the one that uh, had hooks in my hand here. So I already took it out of the package and just laid it in there. Now this is by uh, Matsuo. It's a Faruko Bend. Um, price on this is $6.99. Guys, this is all this is is a it's a 2.5 square bill. It's a very very nice square bill. Um, it is a little on the heavy side, I will say that. But I will also throw this in there. Um, has great hooks on it. But listen to this knocker. That is a very very loud one knocker. It's not that real deep sound. I mean, it's very, very loud. It's got a little bit bigger chamber in there. Gives a little bit more uh, area to move around and make that little bit louder thump in there. Um, I will definitely, definitely be giving that a shot, especially this coming spring. Uh, red crawl colors are phenomenal in the spring. So, um, can be in the winter too. So, don't don't knock it until you try it. But, uh, like I said, that's all around pretty good bait. Um, I don't see any issues with that. Um, I'll definitely be throwing that one. And that one, like I said, goes for... $6.99, so that's not a bad deal there. All right, get into the next one. And this one is called the Bat or the Bait Brigade. Um, this is called, this is actually the Scout. And I will tell you guys right off the bat, first time I took this out of the package, I am extremely, extremely impressed. It's more like a rattle trap, a little plus crank. The color on this, guys, the color on this is absolutely phenomenal. Hopefully you guys can see that. It focuses in there. Uh, this is a perfect color, especially for a pond or small streams where we live. Um, this is a really, really good color of like a, just a small bluegill. Um, it's very, very, very close. Mimics it very, very well. Um, I think this is just a half ounce. Feels like half ounce here. Um, very, very sharp hooks. Um, if you look on there, you can actually see. The back hook is actually a little bit smaller to one size down than what the front one is. Um, so that should swim pretty good. Holding that, you know, having that little bit bigger hook up here, hold that nose down a little bit farther and come through that water good. So that, that bait there in particular, I am very, very impressed with. And like I said, that one goes for the uh, $7.49 a piece. So that's a pretty good bait. I really like that one. All right. On to the next one. So we got a clear cut spinner bait. This is the CC6000. Um, it's a double willow blade, both gold. Um, if any of you guys watch me for a number or a number of videos, you'll know I'm not a big, big gold fan. Um, I do throw a, a two-tone, a silver and gold, um, every once in a while on a war eagle. That is probably my go-to spinnerbait. Um, this one here is not a bad spinnerbait. Um, looks pretty good. It's got a pretty stiff wire on there. Uh, the hardware looks pretty normal. You know, nothing special about that. Blades look all right. Uh, skirt on it. It's a pretty, pretty fine skirt. Um, it's got a lot of movement to it, so I don't think that would be bad. Um, the one thing I did notice on this spinnerbait is check out that hook. So that hook's a little bit, little bit odd. Um, not saying that's a bad thing. I think that hook there will keep them pinned better. But what worries me is that fish coming over there and being sunk down in there so much. I just hope I get a good hookup ratio there. I think the hookup ratio is going to be a little bit lower with that hook style. Um, I could be completely wrong, but that's just my opinion. So, like I said, not a bad little spinner bait. That one there goes for, let's see here, that was $5.99. So, that's still not a bad idea, or a bad deal. Like I said, guys, I'm... I think $15 into this box and we're we're well over that so it's a pretty good box so next one this is the last one this is the jig um, this is from stellar jigs it's called the space invader it's a black and blue jig get this guy out <clears throat> and like I said guys I opened all these I kind of looked them examine them a little bit um, just to give them a fair chance whatever I am impressed with all the baits 
Um, all of them, there's a couple of them that are kind of off the wall baits, a little something I probably wouldn't pick up in a store, but I will try them being as they come in this box and they have pretty decent baits for the rest of the box. This jig on the other hand, guys, if you can see that, the eye up here is completely open. It's not even a closed eye. The eye is not even, it looks like they used a hook that was too big for this head. Um, it's coming out really far. You're going to get that thing hung up everywhere. Um, the other thing on this bait that I will show you guys here, this brush guard, that thing is stiff. Very, 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 very stiff. Um, I will tell you guys, you know, you all know I love moccasin jigs. And if you get a moccasin jig and you look at a moccasin jig, they are out of the package, one of the best jigs you're ever going to find out there. They're trimmed to perfection. Their head designs are unbelievable. But if you pull out a moccasin jig and you go like this, you will see that this brush guard comes right down to that point perfectly. This one is extremely, extremely short, which is why this thing is a little stiffer for one. Um, I think you're going to have a hard, hard time getting hooked up on that one. Um, other than that, guys, the rest of the baits are perfect. They're great. Um, like I said, a few off the wall ones. I will try them though. They're, they're good enough that I would definitely give them a shot. This one here is probably just going straight to the trash. I'm, I'm not even going to mess with that. You're going to end up, your line's going to come right off that eye no matter what. Um, as soon as you get hooked up or even just crawling across the bottom or whatever, it's not going to stay on there. So other than that, guys, um, it's a pretty, pretty dang good box. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I said, for 15 bucks, I definitely think I got my money's worth even better. So um, if you guys want, you know, go check Lucky Tackle Box out. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them or anything at all. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of content on my channel um, with a box since everybody else has got their boxes out there and everything else. So um, I will leave them linked in the description. Um, and I will also have, uh, I'll put mocks and jigs down there too, you know, like I said, guys, if you're wanting jigs, that's the place to go. But uh, that's all I got for now, and we will see you guys again next time. Thanks.